We are heading to Seattle today to see family. Taking James with me, it's always really heartwarming and just warm fuzzies to see my family. Good morning. I am mid makeup right now. I'm going to Seattle this weekend to see family. I was up until 4 a.m. editing a video, guys. Four, okay? Yes, they call it a grind, and that's the grind. Or you can just call it good old procrastination. I'll be real, it's been really, really, really hard for me to find inspiration this week because you know, there's this thing once a month that ladies go through. I don't know if you know about it, uh, gentlemen. I felt very lethargic, uninspired. And also there's been a lot going on in my life. And I find that as a aspiring creator, cr tapping into creative juices, when you're feeling tired, stressed, overwhelmed, it's new for me because when I had a corporate job when I had a nine to five. Even if I felt tired, I didn't have to use my heart and my that creative side of my brain. That has been a shift for me lately is that in that world, you know exactly what you need to be doing. Typically, you have your day laid out, you have your tasks laid out. This is a completely different ball game. I have to be speaking from the heart and the soul and my creative mind and those creative juices only flow they don't flow every day. Like sometimes it's less overwhelming to be told what to do or to feel like you've got that structure than to completely be your own boss and to have to come up with the creativity and the ideas on your own. So it's worth it to me. It just hasn't felt super comfortable, you know? Just really learning to embrace the uncomfortable. I wanted to share some light bulb moments right now because I said that I would share some every week. Okay, here is the, num the main one. Comparison truly is the thief of joy. That and overnight success is not a thing. When I'm seeing these YouTube videos that say, how I got 300,000 subscribers in eight weeks, seeing those kind of things, it can be discouraging. It can be like, well, huh. that can be discouraging for anybody who's trying to start out. One, I don't really know those people's journeys, truly. So maybe somebody did just upload a video or two or, or three and then blew up like crazy. Like that happens, but I think that is the exception. And we have to stop comparing ourselves to the exceptions because we really don't know anybody else's journey, right? The more typical journey is probably having had to just grind and go at it for years sometimes. And then maybe that person who has been just working, busting their asses for years, then sees overnight um, growth, like catapulted growth in one night. I, I can see that happening. And so I don't wanna discredit the hard work that they put into it too. Sometimes those titles are just, they're they're clickbaity and they're, um, they're gonna grab your attention and everybody wants to know how to gain a million subscribers in six months. But I think the reality is, is that the behind the scenes stuff is, is really what matters. And it's the hard work that you're putting into it, that I'm putting into it every single day so that maybe that overnight success comes someday. So I've had to kind of rewire my brain and, and train myself to think and remember that you really never know somebody else's journey and comparing is just the easiest way to feeling burnt out, feeling unhappy, feeling discouraged. I really don't think though that there's anything overnight. I think that it requires work and commitment. Letting go of expectations as well. Expectations are the root of all evil. No, expectations, I, re I really do feel like are the root of unhappiness and dissatisfaction. I think it's good to have goals and I think it's good to have standards and that's different, but doing something in order to gain this specific expectation, that just sets us up for disappointment a lot. But yeah, I just wanted to share those light bulb moments that don't compare yourself to others, other creators, 
or in any journey you're on, not even YouTube, if you're starting anything, comparison is so hard not to do, but it's one of the, I think, most unproductive things to do. And I think to be inspired and motivated is great, but comparison is just kind of like putting down your own worth and your own capabilities and your own potential. I think it dilutes your potential and your belief in yourself. What is your secret sauce? Yes, draw inspiration from others, learn from others, but really what is, you know, I'm like, what is V's secret sauce? How can I go about this that is in an original way? Finding that thing that sets you apart. Um, and sets you apart doesn't mean better. It just means sets you apart as in you. There's only one you. There's only one individual you. And so what is that thing that you can capital, you know, just really take advantage of, right? And I'll end on this. I think as women, especially, we tend to be like, ooh, I'm too much though. I'm gonna be too much. If I'm like, good morning, because I just, I don't know, sometimes I just wanna do that. I'm not always in, in the most brilliant mood in the morning, but um, I have had that feeling of, oh shoot, I just, I need to be sweeter and just more demure to be likable. I don't know. We gotta just be ourselves. You're, you're of no use to anybody, especially you, if you can't be yourself. Okay, friends, if anybody wants to come over and actually show me how to do makeup, by all means, please. Like I said, I only have one makeup look. Just one. I don't know if I have the kind of face that is like palette, palatable or what is it called? Just like a, a, the, the perfect canvas for different makeup looks. I, I don't think I have that face though. So I haven't really tried different makeup looks. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I hope you guys had an awesome week. You are not alone in the boat, the boat that you're in, that I'm in. We're all, we're all in this together and not just YouTubers, but anybody really starting anything new. Good for you. I support you all the way. Oh, forgot some of the bronzer here. Okay, get out of here. You can go. Okay, see you in a bit. We are heading to Seattle today to see family. My big, awesome, rambunctious family. I cannot believe summer's almost over. Taking James with me and uh, we're just gonna go for a few days and kind of end the summer there. So that'll be really nice. It's always really heartwarming and just warm fuzzies to see my family. I'll do a little filming there uh, whenever I can, um, maybe let you in on the craziness, but uh, see you soon. Let's go. I love this one. I know exactly how it's gonna go. So I get like amazing food, amazing company and it's like, it's family, isn't it? So it's like, it's the best. It's all family. Family. Special, special, special thing if you've got some. Then you're very lucky. We're lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Hey, <laughs> Alright, go.